we're here meeting Alex from Ecologic to talk about the new methods that we are going to use on our double story extension. Here he is. Cool. Thanks, Lewis. Now we're grateful to have you on board as a new SIPS customer. So the why, you're asking me about why people use SIPS. So about 35% of the carbon in the UK is from leakages from people's homes. So that's people putting the heating on, burning a log burner, and all that heat energy pouring out of leaky ships, essentially. So SIPS are offering a chance to, for people to build um, in a more modern way, more airtight, more thermal, more thermal performance, more insulation. So SIPS have been around for about 100 years in some places like Scandinavia. So it's not a new idea. But in the UK, increasingly getting more market share uh, for about the last 30 years. In Scotland, 80% of homes are built using timber frame. In England, it's 20%. So it just That's gives crazy. you some idea of like where we're behind even in the UK to, to, to some other countries. Um, SIPs offer air tightness, thermal performance. I think over using, say, bricks, you've been building in bricks for what? 20 years, 20 years. So why, what's brought you to thinking about using a different method? Basically, the eco side of it, the EU values, obviously, you know, how much heat are we losing yeah. through brick and block? Um, how quick the panels and the system we can build in, yeah. you know, it, you know, traditional, it can take months when, you know, this method, it, it can take weeks. Yeah. Um, and then, um, you know, obviously the ongoing bills and costs of um, you know o owning a chalet or a house uh, if this is going to save me money mm. or a yeah. client money then it's interesting so to answer some of those yeah so building things in sips this is an example of a wall section so you can see there's thicker insulation in the roof and there's thicker uh, a different size panel in the wall but just look at how much insulation that is compared to say building with a brick the yeah. toe congestion on the inner face this is the structure and the insulation in one. So that whole wall build-up can be between 250, 300 with a cladding and a plasterboard versus the new part L regs for cavities about 400. So you get more inhabitable space. The air tightness is between one and three you're typically scoring and all of our builds are getting EPC rating B or above. It's a fabric first approach. This insulation is EPS, not PIR. There's two versions on the market. The reason we use this, not PIR, is this is 100% recyclable. So it is plastic, so that is the full disclaimer, it's the nasty, but it's 98% air and 2% plastic. Brilliant. And of the 2%, if you looked in our workshop just now, you'd see that we're shredding it, turning it into plastic briquettes. We donate to a company who make more plastic products. So in terms of that versus trad, it's way more sustainable than making bricks, cement, and all the carbon that goes with it. Brilliant. You mentioned speed of build. We do about a 200 meter squared house at the moment, three or four bedroom and about six, seven days on site up from DPC. That's probably three or four months in trad, depending on the weather, yeah. the bricklayers. Yeah. But it's all those other benefit program benefits. So we design it all first, um, get your approval. Once we've done that design, you can go to windows and doors company, order things. You can order cladding, you can order roofing. You can't typically do that if you're doing it in bricks. You wait for it all to be built do your takeoffs and then you order things yeah exactly so yeah. the speed on site is dramatically reduced which you said but the reason why we're doing what we do is i had a call just yesterday from a client he said the ambient temperature in my house right now in winter in november is 20 degrees without the heating on and oh, he, really yeah and he's wow. winding, he's winding me up saying it's just dropped I said, oh, oh no what to 19 <laughs> okay. and he said i'm going to turn the heat on I said, why? He said, to check it works. And I've heard that three times in the last 12 months now. I'm turning the heating on to check it works. That's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And that's the future of what we need to be aiming for. So yeah. that we're not pumping all this energy into the grid to yeah. heat homes that leak. We yeah. need thermally efficient, more, more airtight structures. So It's fantastic. This is the future, isn't it, really? And with the way that we get our energy as well, solar panels and the way that we actually use that energy, is the future as well. I think combined, it's a brilliant and innovative method to build, really. It's the air tightness which really is the big thing, because yeah. you could have this wall, you know, five times as thick as that, but 
if there's a big hole in the wall, all that gets out the window. So that's the premise really of a fabric first approach is having good insulation, good U values, but really good air tightness. You couple those things together, you need less heating. When your heater sips home, it keeps that energy in for a lot longer. So you get less of this big balloon, like big movement in temperature. It stays way more consistent through the year. And that's the opposite effect in the summer. Everyone's always thinking insulation, cold, winter. It's gonna be hot. But the summers are getting hotter. So we've got reflective foils on this on the outside, which emits heat backwards out of the build in the summer as well. So the, the ambient temperature will be cool in the summer and warmer in the winter. So you get that benefit of seasonality, whether it's the hot or the cold. Insulation works both ways. Fantastic. So yeah, we design everything ourselves. We make it all ourselves here in the New Forest, which you've hopefully had a good yeah, look yeah, at in the workshop. That. We go as far as wrapping the panels in a sugarcane based pallet wrap. We really, really care about sustainability and driving it up through the heart of the business. And most of our biggest decisions are made on, well, how much carbon is this? Can we reduce it? Is it more expensive? Well, we, we get it. Let's pay a little bit more because we want to drive innovation and all, all these other supply mark chains around what we're doing. Yeah, um, yeah. So really, it's just about, and I'm so grateful that you're inspired to try something new. Yeah, well, we're looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, you know, it's exciting for us because um, although we've been building in timber uh, in, in the past, this is a new method for us and um, yeah, really, really excited. And you're just using sit panels at the moment, aren't you? Not yeah. pre-cut by us or anything. So you're no, really going to so go on the whole journey. For the whole journey throughout <laughs> everything. Yeah. And then, um, and then we'll, learn, we'll learn everything to do with it. Yeah. And the next step will be we'll drop you off a kit, pre-cut, timbers, panels, set of drawings on the top. And then boom. Yeah. Meccano set. Off you go. <laughs> it's a deal, Alex. Let's nice do it. Thanks, Lewis.